Hi, this is Chris Shattuck with buildamodule.com, and I'm going to be talking about how to test your module. Today we're going to be talking about how to test your module using the Selenium IDE. Now it sounds a little weird, um, but in practice it's pretty simple to use, and it can be extremely powerful. So when we are building out our module, or developing in Drupal in any way, we're testing all the time. You know, we're, we're refreshing our browser page. We're going to different pages, running through different workflows repeatedly to see if uh, the things that were working before are still working and to check our new functionality and to see how it fits in all of that. But when we're doing this, it can kind of get wearisome. And when things get wearisome, we end up sort of dropping the ball a little bit and maybe missing some things that we should. So automation has the advantage of saving you time and of making your work more accurate. So we want to get out of this system of you know running through every test that we're gonna do our, ourselves every time. So we have two tools at our disposal in Drupal. Uh, one is the Selenium ID for Firefox and this works for any application, but um, you know because we're we're working with Drupal, we're going to show how it applies to to some typical Drupal module, uh, one particular Drupal module workflow. And secondly, there's Simple Test, and Simple Test is uh, very awesome, and we'll talk about that in a future video. Um, but the two are, are are rather different in their scope and have some different benefits and uh, some things that aren't so great about them. So let's take a look at Selenium IDE um, uh, from a pro-con standpoint. What, what is it that makes it good? What are some things we have to watch out for and maybe you want to use something like Simple Test for? So what Selenium does is it automates browser activity. First of all, Selenium IDE has a low overhead in terms of getting started with it. Understanding its basic concepts and creating your first test is going to be really easy. Simple test, on the other hand, um, takes a little bit more work to get used to, um, even though it's still not that bad. And uh, like I said, we'll go over that in a future video. One cool thing about Selenium is that as a test runs, it's actually running the test in the. Thank you for watching this preview from buildamodule.com. On our website, we offer a number of free videos, as well as several others that are available for a reasonable price. Come check us out.